Hey players and playettes, and welcome to Top 5 Friday, a celebration of plugins that rarely spirals out of control into senseless violence. I'm Tim Can, and this time we're going to be looking at vocal processing plugins. Now, when I was a lad, there was only one way to permanently affect the sound of your voice, and frankly, I'm still sore about it. Thankfully, these days, there are tons of ways to get that perfect vocal sound, so let's check them out. Hear me now, it's Speak Up at 5. Auto-Tune Ain't Dead at number 4. Zill's Vocoder 5000 is carrying on at 3. Little Alter Boy makes a big impression at 2. And the plug-in of the gods, Nectar 3 is our number 1. At number 5, Speak Up by Audified. This one might be a bit left field, being created as a plugin for film and video post-production, but the musical applications available with a copy of Speak Up are pretty interesting. Speak Up is actually two plugins, Speak Up Sensor and Speak Up Performer. With one sitting on a vocal track and another placed on the rest of your music, you can use the vocal signal to duck or dip the rest of your material. Naturally, this makes it great for film voiceovers, but with creative routing and some tweaking of the fade in and fade out controls, you can use Speak Up as a sidechain plugin. Of course, you can do the same things using standard sidechain compression or automation, but Speak Up just makes it that little bit easier. Speak Up is a fantastic little plugin for making voiceover sound more audible over music. So let's have a listen to this example we've got here. We've got a bit of music. And we've got a bit of voiceover. Well, this is really a sample. I want you to breathe in deeply. It's your nice breathy classic. Breathe in. Sexy house vocal. Oh, aren't you feeling relaxed and sexy? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to grab the sensor and put it on the vocal because that's what we want to trigger everything. And we'll grab the performer and put that on the music. And straight away it's going to duck that vocal for us. I want you to breathe in deeply. This on-air thing tells us when it's activated. Breathe in. Breathe out. We can turn down the target or attenuation. Forgetting fear. And we can also use the speech frequencies attenuation, I want you to connect which uses more to the self. a more EQ-based approach. The source of love, the source of happiness. And as you can see, we've got a really long fade out time. That's two seconds we've got there. So let's try it with a bit of a short time. I want you to connect to the self. The source of love, the source of happiness. So there you go, very easy to use, really time saving if you're working with voiceover and some potential musical applications in there as well if you're not. At 4, Autotune Pro by Antares. Autotune is without doubt the most famous plugin in the world, and with the recent release of Autotune Pro, you get more vocal twisting or polishing power than ever before. Autotune Pro gives you the choice of contemporary or classic pitch shifting, auto and graphical modes, and an auto key plugin to help you identify the scale your music is in. New additions to Autotune include flexible time, form and control, and tweaking of vibrato. Thanks to Antari's unique throat modeling technology, you can get your musical world blown time and time again in the style of both Cher and your boy T-Pain. It's the original pitch correction plugin, and there's an absolute ton of stuff to look at in the ninth version of Autotune. We don't have time to get everything, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of what it does. We've got a vocal here that is, you know, it's fine, it doesn't need retuning, but we can still have some fun with it anyway, so. I've been so lonely since you went away. We're in auto mode now. I've been so lonely. Let's turn up that reaching speeds. I've been so alone. There you go. So alone. I've been so Sharing T pain effects all day long. But let's have a quick look at the graph mode. I mean, that's not all it can do, guys, but that's that's the fun thing that it does. Everything else is kind of, you know, it's a bit corrective rather than cosmetic, but we can have some fun with it anyway. So let's record in. The pitch and time information. I've been so lonely since you went away. I've been so lonely without you every day. I've been so alone, feeling so alone. I've been so lonely, I miss you every day. Okay, there we go. We got the data in auto tune now. What we can do is we can say make curves 
and then we can twist it all around. I've been so lonely. I mean, I've been so lonely. That's fine. It's more the sort of th this is more the sort of thing that you'd when you're going really ham on a vocal. That's the sort of thing you try and do. Easier way to do it is to just draw in a bar here, and you can move this around. <laughs> Because we've set this to F minor, which is the key of our vocal, it'll automatically snap to the scale. I've been so lonely. Let's uh, move that down a bit. I've been so lonely. Went away. So there we go. We can change the uh, to the classic mode as well. Sit here, how that sounds. I've been so lonely since you went. Not quite as good. I've been so lonely since you were And we can change stuff like the throat simulation. I've been so lonely since you went around. I've been so lonely without you. So yeah, that's just scratching the surface. Autotune is an amazing pitch correction plugin still. At three, Zill's Vocoder 5000 by Zill's Lab. With a vocoder awesomeness level of over 9,000, Zill's Vocoder 5000 is arguably the most luxurious vocoder on the market in terms of both sound and functionality. Based on the classic hardware vocoder, the EMS 5000, this is a sound designer's dream, with features including a powerful built-in carrier synth based on Zill's Lab's EMS VCS3 emulation, a filter matrix, built-in polyphonic sequencer, a host of effects, and anything else you could possibly need to make the raunchiest robotic vocals around. You know what it's like when somebody's been messing with your feeling and messing with your mind? Messing with my feeling. Messing with my mind. What a lovely, soulful vocal. Let's robot that up. With a bit of Zill's 5000 vocoder, we have the plugin on the audio track with a vocal on it. Let's activate it. Also, we're going to route a MIDI track to the vocal track, and that is going to go to the plugin, specifically the carrier synth part. Now, a vocoder uses a modulator, for example, a vocal, and a carrier, for example, a synth. And vocal plus synth equals robot. Let's see what it do when we play it back and play some MIDI. With my feeling, with my there you go, you get it. Feeling, Let's have some mono action instead on this. So you get the idea. Robo effects are plenty. Get a bit of a talk box vibe going on, and that's a, that's kind of like what you get in your standard vocoder. Zill's five thousand has a whole ton of stuff more, including craziness in the built-in synth with like FM stuff, and there's loads of weird pitch stuff going. Loads of weird pitch stuff going on here, which I enjoy. Load stuff. Let's try the uh, unison mode. <laughs> and there's um, there's loads of stuff you can do with the. Uh, so this is the root the routing matrix for the analysis to the filter. Pretty complicated. Whatever. Basically, you can do some form and tricks in it. So let's. We'll make this a little bit less crazy and see what it what it does. Okay, I totally destroyed this vocal, made a really weird sound, but that's kind of what this is all about. And there's tons more stuff like effects and other bits in here as well, so yeah, check it out. A two little Alter Boy by Sound Toys. This little Alter Boy might be small, but it gives you everything you need to transform any vocal track. The pitch and forward knobs make up the main part of the experience, providing excellent sounding pitch or vocal style shifting in three modes, transpose, quantize, and robot. Next, there's a drive control, putting that lovely Sound Toys overdrive onto your signal. And it's not just vocals, you can use Little Alter Boy to fiddle with anything you like, repercussion free. If you're not familiar with it, Little Alter Boy is very much in the tradition of other Sound Toys plugins. It's pretty simple, it sounds fantastic. So we've got a bit of a vocal here. And this is a kind of a sad story. You left your mobile phone last night 
You said you were going out with friends, looking through your pictures. Baby, how you let me down. Oh dear! Well, it sounds like this unfortunate young lady is getting cucked by her boyfriend. I mean, clearly the priority is to make a tune about it, but she might want to get down the GUM clinic as well. So let's see if we can add a little sunshine into this sad story with some vocal processing. So we've got a purely wet mix here, and we've got our pitch and formant controls, which are kind of like the big hitters here. So let's have a play with the formant first. You left your mobile phone last night. So it's retaining the pitch, <laughs> but it's changing the character, and you can get that fantastic chipmunk sound. So you can also play with the pitch, and we can play with these independently. So this is your pitch shifting, interesting artifacts there. Pretty cool pitch shift, you can also link these. You left your mobile phone last night You said you get around with friends Now what's cool is when you mix a bit of the dry signal in So what I'm going to do is just pitch the formant down first, see how this sounds You left your mobile phone last night That's adding a bit of texture there Also if we friends. turn the pitch down too There we go Baby how you let me down so that's your classic kind of contemporary deep house effect. Very, very nice. Very easy to perform. Also, you, maybe you want to try going for some weird harmonic stuff. Let's try this. You left your mobile phone last night. You said you were going out with friends. Looking through your pictures. Baby, how you let me down. So just, just these three knobs give us an amazing amount of control over the sound. Also, you have a bunch of different modes. You left your mobile phone last night. Contas you gives you a little bit of a bit of a different feel. Look. And then there's robot, which is a bit of a wild card. You left your mobile phone last night. So it gives you a bit you of a monotone thing. So that's more for spoken word effects, I guess. Um, also, we have a drive here. He doesn't love sound toys, a bit of overdrive. Let's hear this. You left your mobile phone last night. You said you were going out with friends. Looking for You're probably not gonna to want to go too crazy with that, but you can add a little bit of a roughness there. You left your mobile phone last night. You said you were going out with friends. Looking through your bed. So there you have it, a fantastic box of tricks for vocal processing. And at number one, Nectar 3 by Isotope. Doing what Neutron does for mixing and Ozone does for mastering, Nectar 3 is a one-stop shop for all your vocal processing needs. You get all the standard fare such as EQ, gating, compression, saturation, delay and reverb, plus tools designed specifically for vocal processing, including pitch correction, harmonization, and even breath control making a special appearance from Isotope's RX series. Nectar 3 is much more than just a channel strip, including as it does a vocal assistant, unmasking processor, auto leveler, and tons more, including a copy of the excellent pitch correction software Melodyne 4 Essential. There's also a wallet friendly option in the form of the cheap and cheerful Nectar Elements 3. For me, Nectar 3 has two major changes over the previous version. One, the interface isn't so disgusting looking. Nectar 1 and 2 were not attractive. They've been replaced by a more contemporary isotope look, which fits in very nicely with Neutron and Ozone. And the other thing is that the graphical pitch editing has gone, so that element has now been replaced by Melodyne Essentials 4, which is pretty cool, and it makes the correction window in your Nectar 3 look a lot simpler. So let's just take a run through some of the effects because there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. I can't, be alone one more night. I can't resist doing a bit of fast retuning. We've got a, a vocal in G minor here. Say that you know me, I see what you show me. It's hard to believe you are mine. Santa good, what else have we got? I can't be alone one more Harmony. Night. 
I just need you here. So for harmony, you just play with these balls you like it's FIFA. Let's put a little slap back on these. I can't be alone one more night. Let's put some more pitch I just need and time variation on there. You say that you know me, I see what you show me. It's hard like the depth here is mind. crazy. Let's have some saturation. We'll put that before be the harmony. I just need you here by my side. You say that you know me, I see what you Sounding all right, me. man. So let's put some delay on there. Ooh. And you've got mixed controls up here, so it's like a little mixer. You say that you know me, I see what you show me. It's hard to believe you. Some lush reverb. It's got it all going on. Let's put the auto limiting mode on, why not? You say that you know me, I see what you show me. It's hard to believe you man. Sounded lush. So with next three, you can make your vocal do what you want with a few clicks. Well, that's all we've got time for. And I'm afraid that playing with all these vocal processing plugins has turned me into quite the diva. So get out of my house and don't ever come back again. But please do come back again next time for another Top 5 Friday. <laughs>